That's day five of our Fox 61 Fall Bucket List Tour, and it's our sweetest stop yet. It sure is. Keith and Rachel are out there exploring the Pez Factory and Visitor Center. It's in orange. It is home to a huge collection of candy and also history behind it. We're checking in with them. You guys are having a great... Oh, you're all suited up. Love it. I love it. Fashion. <laughs> We're good to go. Yeah, we have our fashion, you know. We changed our gear here uh, as we start to make Pez. And Keith, I have to say, it's been really cool to see the men and women behind us work, start packaging the Pez and kind of seeing it firsthand. Yeah, so we're weighing our strengths and weaknesses as a team. Rachel is the scientist. <laughs> we figured you were best for this job. So we're going to have you get going here. Sean, you have walked us through this every step of the way. You live and love Pez. And it is, in some ways, an uh, intricate process but agree ingredient wise this is pretty simple it is it's really a simple process but there is some accuracy involved you got to get just the right mix just the right ingredients and do it in just the right environment but really simple process it's basically pressed sugar with some flavor and color in it and when we talk about flavors you folks have really taken pride in celebrating the traditional with a, a couple sour twists as well absolutely yeah we introduce new things from time to time we do some seasonal flavors as you mentioned we got four different sour flavors that are really popular so it keeps it interesting something new so this is a smaller version of you know the big, bigger industrial ones kind of giving folks a sample of it you were saying some incredible numbers how many pez does this machine make or the real big guys well, the actual machines will make uh, about a half a million tablets per hour so we have three machines that's about a million and a half tablets per hour kind of averages out across the day at about 12 million tablets 12 tablets to a roll million rolls of wrapped candy every single day here. That's incredible. And I love that you don't tire of eating it. I think that's my favorite part about you. So the visitor center opens seven days a week, 10 to five. Adults get in for five bucks. Kids get in for four and you get a $2 voucher to the store. Uh, Tim and Erica, if you're still with us, right, we're going to do a little bit of trivia. How many Pez tablets do you think are in one of these four gallon tubs? This is sour pineapple. What flavor is this, Sean? Uh, sour green apple. And this one right here? Great. All right, so you guys with us, what do you think? Yeah. How many Pez in this bucket? Uh, 3,200. I was going to say 3,519. So Tim's saying 3,519. Erica, one more time, your guess? 200. 200 tablets? No, there are no, way no, more than that. 3,200. 3,200. Yeah. Okay, my apologies yeah. there, Erica. Okay, so, Sean, in one... There's no way Erica said 200. I'm sorry, that. Erica. I love you. <laughs> in one bucket, there are how many Pez tablets? Well, we actually had you count these between yeah. the last break, so to keep you busy, there's 15,120 oh on average. 15,120 in just... One of these buckets. This place is amazing. Sean originally, yeah, it's always Sean is originally from Kansas City. <laughs> This is why I don't win those. Like how many I'm just going to let you guys know quickly. Yeah. Sean is originally from Kansas City. And how long would it take? And he brought the collection with him. They built this museum. <laughs> how long would it take you to eat them all? Yeah, this is 15,000 minus a couple, right? <laughs> right yes, 15,100. 15,100. 14. Exactly. All right, guys. Thank you. Have fun. And we'll so check back on in. And so forth.